Yesterday morning, my daughter Gaia drew a chicken with a lot of legs. I counted them. One, two, three, four. I don't know why, but that drawing left me with a strange feeling. Later, our day started. One, two, three, four. And I thought about that chicken. It kept popping into my head. While strolling in the supermarket, I got it. Gaia's reality is here, in this polystyrene box that contains a strange farm built by supermarket supply chains, plastic animals. This is my life too. My city, my reality, the habits that make me feel safe. But the four-legged chicken changed my mind. I talked to my husband. He's a director. I told him that I wanted to stop our daily life and change our family's point of view. Okay, luggage ready. Let's rock. Now we want to tell you the story of our family, traveling in a brave new world, where the focus is nature, human beings and their needs. Everything will happen with barter, and we will be bartering our home, our time, our knowledge. Our plan is to be hosted by families that have a different lifestyle from ours. Let's see what's happening in England. A musician, living in the countryside with her two sons. Sounds like a good beginning. Siona picked us up at the train station and brought us to her cottage. She's a violinist who welcomed us in her home and shared the biological food from her garden in exchange of some hours of work. Siona is continuously hosting travellers and thanks to this idea, her children are always in contact with people from all around the world. It's just sort of magical really. See, they're, they're at that age, they're five and eight, where they make very quick decisions about people and they can make a really strong attachment or they'll just go not interested. They're meeting people inside their lives rather than just meeting them, you know, socially or at school or something else. They love sharing their space and they love sharing their ideas and their stuff. So it's invaluable, really. For us, it's, as a family, it's a brilliant, bouncing ball of energy. <laughs> There's no real, real conscious decision about having the children here. I don't know if it's the best place for them to be, but they don't want to move. They don't tell me they want to move. In our documentary, we are going to travel and be guests of groups of artists, organic farmers, co-housing projects, educational projects, seekers. <laughs> Guys, help us to stop the four-legged chicken. <laughs>